In this video, I'm going to show you how we can clone any website in just one click. So we are going to use here the clone WebEx tool to clone our website. Using that tool, you can clone section by sections like you can clone the one by one section or you can clone the entire website. You can use here the multiple builder to clone our website. So in this video, I'm going to use here the Gutenberg. Using the Gutenberg, you can select the entire page. You can use the selector option to clone the particular section also. So I'm going to clone this website to my new website. As you can see, here, this is really amazing website. And as you can see, here, this is my new website. OK, it's a blank page here. Now I'm going to clone this website to my new website. Softlight clone WebEx and open this tool. And now we need to create an account and sign up. Go to app and you will see here the add new project. So click on the add new project and your project name is suppose I'm going to clone the yoga website, yoga new website, and I need to put the website URL. So I'm going to clone this website. So I need to copy this website URL, go to the tool and just paste that website and just click on create project. That's it. Now we need to install the extension. Click here to install the extension. And you can see the clone WebEx softlight.io. This is the extension we need to install on the Chrome. And I already have that extension. So after installing this extension, go to the website here. And now we need to pin that extension. Go here and pin that extension like this. Now we need to click on that extension and we need to select our project. So my project is yoga new website selected. You can check this box if your website not loaded with the CSS. So I'm going to just check it and click on add page. So here is our website. Now these two options you can copy or you can clone the one by one section. Let me show you first section. So you can select any section or you can or you can clone the entire page also. How you can clone one section. So select this section and select that current selector and then you need to select the page builder. So we are going to use here the Gutenberg. This is the default website builder for WordPress. You don't need to install any other plugins. Now, as you can see a requirement, we need to install one plugin here. So click on that link and that link will download one plugin. So we need to install this plugin. So go to the website. Now we need to install the plugin. So click on the plugin and click on the add new plugin. Click on upload plugin and I'm going to upload this file to my website and click on install. And now we need to click on activate plugin and that's it. Go to again here clone WebEx and now we need to just click on the export option and then click on copy to clipboard and go to your website and click on the add new page. And here I'm going to create one new page. I'm going to just say here the home and now just click on this block and just use the command V and control V to paste it. And you can see this is the section. Now we need to click on this and make this column width is you can make it this wide width or you can make it full width also. You can see this is the other test section is pasted in our new website. Now here you can change the typography. You can change the color, background color and everything. Let's click on the this text. OK, let's go to the style option. Just scroll down. And here we will see the option of typography and you can see the 64. So I'm going to just make it to the 80. You can see this is done. Now you can change that uh, background color also. So I'm going to just click on this and I'm going to go to the style option. Just scroll down, go to the background option. And here you can select the background and change it according to your branding like this. So you can change the entire content, entire style of your cloned section. So you can do the multiple section or you can have another option to clone the entire page also. And now I'm going to select here selector and select the entire page. OK, page builder is Gutenberg. We already have installed the plugin and let's click on the export again and click on the copy to clipboard. And now we need to go to the page. Now we need to just paste it. Use the control C or control V and that will add the header also in your website. So I'm going to just make it the column width is full width like this. Now I just need to just click on the publish and just click on publish button. And now let me show you the page how that will look. OK, you can see this is the website we have cloned. This is scroll down and you will see the all the pictures, all the images, all the CSS, everything in our page. So that's the easiest way to clone any website to your WordPress page builder in just few clicks. 
Now you can see we have cloned this page. Now you can see the responsiveness of this. So you can just click on the view and you can see the tablet. Now you can see in the tablet form, this is the responsive. You can check this to the mobile version also. I'm gonna show you one more thing is, so let's go to the dashboard. Here you will find the option of soft light that we have installed the plugin. And you can see the block templates. Using the block template, you can use that design in your Elementor page builder. So you just need to use the short code in your Elementor page builder and you can have that design, good turn about design, clone website design in your Elementor also. So this is really very cool. So this is the easiest way to clone website using the clone WebEx tool. I'm going to give you the link in the description so you can use that link to get more discount in your purchase. So if you have any doubt, you can ask me a comment. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.